Oh, soon we shall enter our glorious home and join in the conqueror's song. Oh, brother, be faithful for what should we prove? I'm faithful to him who has shown such deep, such unbounded in deep feeling love who died to redeem us his own. Oh, brother, be faithful, the city of God, prepared for the food and the place. He's waiting, his for toes open to and fro, and when Can sing a chorus, we ought to solo Lela.
612 onward Christian soldiers. evening church I would like to welcome you to our second day of the Pathfinder week of prayer our theme today is image bearer in starting we will all rise up to make use of our theme song to God to be the glory Three hundred and forty one SDAH to God be the glory. Great. 
shall now have the opening prayer by Tawuslan. We shall kneel down for a word of prayer. Gracious Lord and loving Father, I thank you for this day that you have given us. Thank you for thank you for bringing us to this week of prayer today. As we start our lesson, let your holy angels come and protect us. May no harm and danger come upon us to this day. It is in the mighty name of Jesus I pray with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. We shall now have a presentation from Maluva Mudenda. Good evening, church. Um, through stormy seas and skies so blue, Jesus is with us. Hand in hand, we walk in his way. His love, our guide, come, come with us. If we fully trust Jesus, we shall go with hearts held near. We shall go with hearts held near, with him on our side, no fear. Through life's adventure, big and small, we will trust his love, for he is our all. Let's all go with Jesus. Now we will have a song from B.O.T. Kate bebe, kate bebe, kate bebe wa mushilo shaka panga ni mwe. Kate bebe, kate bebe, kate bebe wa Shilo shaka panga ni mwe Ganalwala Mula mposha Katebebe wa mushilo Shaka panga ni mwe Ganapona Katebebe wa mushilo shaka panga ni mwe Katebebe 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 wa mushilo shaka panga ni mwe Katebebe Katebebe 
wewe wa mushilo chaka panga ni mwe ngana luba ngana luba mulambwesha mulambwesha kate bebe wa mushilo chaka panga ni mwe ngana chula ngana chula mulanga fwa mulanga fwa kate bebe wa mushilo chaka panga ni mwe kate bebe kate bebe kate bebe wa mushilo chaka panga ni mwe chaka panga ni mwe chaka panga ni mwe one more song from anointed
I now invite our pastor, Angel Chipolo, to speak to us. Good uh, after lunch, brothers and sisters. How was your lunch? Was it nice? We praise God. Thank you, Pathfinders and our leaders, for what you are doing. This is uh, what we want to see. Is, um, this afternoon, I met the SID Youth Director, Southern Africa Indian Ocean Youth Director, Pastor Ivan Guatringa. He was in Zambia this afternoon and he flew back later. And he told me, as you speak, greet the brethren at University Church. What does the church say? Amen. Thank you. We also recognize uh, those that have come to worship with us for the first time. Those who were not here yesterday, please raise your hands so that we welcome you in a very special. Hey, what pono wink. How do we welcome them? Thank you. You are very much welcome. In a very special way, I have also some special guests who came to see me and worship with us. Um, there is uh, my daughter, Sister Mutinta Hamainda. You can stand. Mutinta is my daughter. She's in love. She's swimming in love. I also ask her fiancé, they are already engaged to stand Brother Moya. They will be getting married soon. Amen. What does the church say in welcoming them? Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Mutinta and Moya, for coming to worship with us, and we are glad that you found time. Uh, my young brother, Matthews, are you here? You told me you'd come. If you are here, you can stand. Okay, he's not here. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, today, I can't see the timer, so yes, I'm sure they will, they will do the needful, but Lelo, 25 minutes. My locality is 20. Okay, thank you very much. Those that have come to worship with us, you are very much welcome. Our theme for the Pathfinder Week of Prayer says image bearers. Image bearers. That is the theme for the Week of Prayer. Image bearers. And we are considering the book of origins, which is the book of Genesis, that we bear the image of God. And yesterday, we were talking about image bearers created in the image of God. That was our message for yesterday. That those that bear the image of God, they were created right in the very image of God. This evening, our message says, image bearers were created for a purpose. Image bearers were created for the purpose. And we are reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 7. Image bearers were created for the purpose Isaiah 43, verse 7, is our text of consideration tonight. 43, verse 7, the Bible says, created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Father in heaven, in the next few minutes, I desire that you use me to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. Life's greatest question is why do I exist? That is life's greatest question. Why do I exist? Why did God create me into a human being? Why am I still alive today? If that question can be answered, then we are warm and dry. Ellen White tells us that the purpose of human existence, in short, she says, the reason why we exist, she mentions so many reasons why human beings exist, but she brings out two salient reasons why we live, why we exist. Number one, she says we exist to honor God, to give him glory. Hallelujah, church. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, we are products of his image. We exist for God and we live for God. Anyone who fails to recognize God in his or her life, it's better if that person was not born. We exist to honor God because we are not of our own. We are God's properties. We are God's special jewels. We never conceived the idea of creating ourselves. It was God's idea that he created us. My brothers, Ellen White goes on to say, apart from honoring God, she says we exist also to uplift one another. We live for one another. None of us is an island. We exist for one another. We exist for each other. God calls us to honor him. And he also calls us to live for one another as brothers and sisters. There are some people who tell you, me, I only fear God. I only fear God. And I don't fear any human being. I'm so powerful. My brother and my sister, you are misrepresenting the image bearer. You are misrepresenting God, who his image you bear. If you cannot respect your fellow human being, that is total misrepresentation of God himself. God calls us to live for him, to give him glory. And above all, he desires that we live for one another. That's why when you look at the life of Christ, the life of Christ was about living for God and living for one another. He was a good Samaritan. Christ was a friend to the neglected. Christ was a community worker. Christ was a sympathizing savior. Christ was there wherever duty calls. He was also present whenever his neighbor needed help. Because that is exactly the reason why God created us into human beings. He calls us, Mr. Tuambo, to live for one another. If all of us lived the way God wanted us to live, Christ could have come by now and we could have gone home. And many of us, 
we have lost it. Many of us, we no longer care for God. We no longer give glory to God. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 12 verse 9 that here now, the conclusion of the whole matter, the conclusion of the whole matter, in short, the man is saying, here now, the purpose of human life, fear God and give him glory, for this is the whole duty of man. Our duty on earth is to glorify God in everything we do. Our duty is to inspire others. Our duty is to bless others. Our duty is to illuminate the world with good character. Our duty on earth is to live uh, for others, is to go an extra mile for others. In the year 2017, I was serving as youth director for Copper Belt Conference. And so we, we had uh, a youth camp somewhere very far, somewhere very far, very far. So I attended this camp in 2011, or 2017 rather. And while there, my wife sends me a message that there is a funeral here. Then I said, who died? Then she tells me that one of my relatives had died. The husband to one of my relatives had died. Right there on the copper belt. I felt bad for my relative, but I had no means of going to the funeral because I was very far. And a uh, few days later, the camp ended and went back home. That time we were living in Indola. And the following day, I drove to the funeral house in a nearby town, mining town of Copper Belt. So when I got there, it had only taken four days after burial. And my mind was set that where I am going to that funeral house, I need to prepare two things. Number one, some little coins. Number two, I should prepare my tears because I have to cry when I see the widow. Two things, and I was set. And I got to the funeral house. I already got my handkerchief ready to shed tears because I knew that no sooner, blah, 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 the, when the, the widow sees me, then blah, 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 blah. I knew that. And I was set. So I got out of my vehicle. And the children saw me and they ran to call the mother. Mommy, the pastor is here. As the children were calling the mother, I had put my handkerchief red because I knew that the moment she sees me, she will begin to shout. <laughs> I was ready to hear that. So, the widow came out of the house and then we looked at each other when I saw her tears started dropping, I started dropping some tears and I said let me see whether the widow is also dropping tears and when I looked she was not dropping any tears so I said fine maybe when we hug that's when she will start. So we came closer, I hugged her, and no drop came out. And I said, mm, I am I? It can't never. 
So I held the widow by her hand and we went inside the house. I cried for about five minutes and the widow was just looking at me. And I said, I said, let me stop it. So I stopped. I stopped. And guess what? I got my phone, read a text from the Bible just to encourage the widow. You know, Mama, this death, there will be a resurrection. And the widow was just looking at me. I spoke for 15 minutes. And then the widow, the widow later on interrupts and says, My pastor in Bemba, Mualanda Sana, and I need to stand up. Then I said, I'm quite mommy. Then she says, Pastor, you said, Chavi, but that my husband died. Then we were the two of us in the house. You said, Chavi, who told you? Can you withdraw that word? Let that dog rest. He was a bad man. I lived with him for 25 years. But he used to beat me. He used to, 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 to throw me outside. Let me show you how my body has been. Then she took off the brows and I saw things. When you saw us, you were saying, hey, 25 years of marriage, 25 years. It was a terrible 25 years. That's the worst part of my life. Let the dog rest. And inside my heart I said, is it Poppy or Scooby? What type of a dog? <laughs> my dear friends, I want you to know this evening that human life is not measured by duration. It is measured by donation. It's not about how long you have lived, but it's about how purposeful your life has been to others. Some of us here, we take pride in things that don't even inspire others. Some of us here, our lives have been lives of fighting others and creating falsehood too. You are misrepresenting your creator, my brother. No. What's the name of our, our, our singing group here? The one that came to Copper Belt. God's envoys. Eh? God's envoys. Eh? Are you aware that brother and so, so, and so, he goes out with sister. That is your only agenda in life. And the question, why you are you going You are ever fighting people. You are ever creating confusion every time. Every church meeting, you are fighting. You are causing confusion. At work, you are the one known to be a problem. I was a district pastor in Luansha, where Mutinta there was my church member. Uh, yes, at River Cross Church. So this day, I thought I could visit one of my dependable elders at one of the churches in Luansha. I won't mention the name of the church for security reasons. So I went to his workplace and uh, I found fellow workers. Then said, please, I want to meet Elder. I mentioned the name of the Elder. I mentioned the name. I want to meet Elder blah, 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 blah. Then the worker said, what did you say, sir? I said, Elder. Then he he says, it may be a seventh day child, Boboka. Because he, that guy, is the Kelenka of Kelenkas we have. 
Then I said, but that is our elder. Then he says, sir, find another elder. Not that guy. He is a problem here. My brothers and my sisters, we were created to live a purposeful life. God created us so that we can reflect what he is to others. Did you know that there are people out there who don't have Bibles, even though, even when they have Bibles, they don't even read Bibles. And yet, their only Bible which they have is our character. When they see me, they are reading the Bible in me. That's how God intends us to live. God intends us to live lives of being an example to those that surround us. My dear friends, the creation story in the book of Genesis tells us that we were created by God. We were put in this world and given dominion over his creatures. The Bible in Isaiah 43 tells us that we were created for God's glory and not anything else. And it pleased God uh, himself to create us. It pleased him. No one forced God to create us. He created us so that as we live, we reflect his glory. And we are not only created to, uh, to, to reflect his glory. God also created us that we live his glory. Oh, dear friends, God calls us tonight that we are image bearers created for the purpose. Not only are we created for God's glory, but we are also to live for his glory. Everything about us is God. Everything, Ellen White says, even to will comes from God. Even to will comes from God. We were created that when God looks at us, he must see himself that, wow, these are mine. And they are representing me in everything that I want them to be. I want it to be seen in them. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 9 tells us that man's duty is to fear God and keep his commandments. Fearing God, friends, means we are to respect God and recognize him as a sovereign ruler. Our allegiance must be given to God and no one else. No one else. That's how God wants us to live. To honor him. And to live for others. The question this evening, how much are we honoring God? Those of you who are youth uh, in Adventist youth ministries, you agree with me that one of, we, we have what we call AY Legion of Honor. And in the AY Legion of Honor, it summarizes the, the whole purpose of human existence. And in that region of honor, we recite and say, I volunteer now to, uh, I volunteer now to, to join the AY Legion of Honor. And by the grace and power of God, I will honor God in that which I choose to wear. I will honor God in the choice of my associates, those that surround me. I will honor God 
in the places to which I go. I will honor God in everything I do because we are not of our own. We belong to God by creation. We are God's creation. By redemption, we were redeemed by God. There is nothing about yourself, nothing about myself. Everything about us begins with God and ends with God. Kwasila. There are people here who think they, 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 they managed. They think they worked so hard. Whatever you are is God and God alone. This evening, image bearers were created for the purpose. The question tonight are you living the purpose? Can good be praised by your character? What about those that surround you? Are they happy to see you? Can they say, wow, we missed you? As I conclude, we were students many years ago at Rusangu University in Monze. So we were in Rusangu compound. We were just in Rusangu compound there with friends. So, this lady, there's a certain lady right there in Rusangu compound. Please don't tell her, please don't tell her this. It's just about you and me, Kwasela. So she heard us speak Bemba with friends from Copper Belt who we are speaking. Then she says, Ah, Murishan, she greets us. Then she tells us, We want you to come for lunch. She invited us for lunch. So the following day we went for lunch. And guess what? This lady, as we got to her home, hey, neighbors saw us. And they were all shocked. To see us in our home. Then after the meal, one of the neighbors called me and said, Pastor Chipolo, what were you doing in that home? Then I said, no, she invited us for lunch. Then she says, we are all amazed here to see you students in that home. Because that woman is a bad woman. That woman beats the husband. That woman, she insults the whole community. That woman doesn't even go to church. That woman is a cousin of the devil himself. My brothers and sisters, human life is not measured by duration. It is measured by donation. Therefore, as you live, Bear in mind that you were created for the purpose. As you live right on campus where you are, right at your place of work, right in your home, right at church, right wherever you are found, please bear in mind that you were created for the purpose and as such you need to inspire before you expire. One day all of us will expire. So before we expire, inspire before you depart, impart, because one day all of us will depart. Brothers and sisters, this evening, you were created for the purpose. Therefore, tonight, be a sweet person, be a nice person, be a good person, be a person who Little ones will not fear to come close to. Be such a person on campus who, when you graduate, everyone say, wow, congratulations. He was a good man. He was a good lady. Be such a person who will be missed by your family, missed by the church, missed by the pastor, missed by the community because yours is not to live for yourself, but to live for God and live for your fellow neighbor. May God bless us as we embrace the purpose that God calls us for, to honor God and uplift fellow human beings. God bless you.
Thank you very much. Before he comes, oh no, it's him, huh? It's you, it's you, my brother. We may rise and sing the first stanza of the theme song. Three forty one SGAH. To God be the glory, great things he had done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life and our torment for sin. from Lista Shaguvanzo. Shall we kneel down for the word of prayer? Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, who lives in the Most High, thank for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you may protect us even as we depart. Protect all those who came to worship you today. Let them go home safely. Protect them even as they come back tomorrow to worship you. I pray that you may protect all of us here, for this is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much. Before the brother comes, those of you who were here yesterday, we started a program of uh, prayer and the study of the Word of God. And I want to find out those who managed to pray yesterday night, yesterday at 21 hours. Raise your hands, please. If you prayed at 21 hours, okay. Mr. Collins Chumpi was not here. Did you manage to pray? Okay. <laughs> okay, was it? Thank you. Those who prayed this morning at six hours, raise your hands. The Kapandes, did you manage? Okay, they did. Those who prayed at 14 hours, Hey, to God be the glory. Thank you. So to those who are here for the first time, we are a praying church. A week of prayer means is a week of praying, not just coming to church to hear the preacher speak. Basically, a week of prayer simply means the church must get involved in prayers, serious prayers. So we agreed that we are going to designate three moments of prayer. That is at 21 hours in the evening, at 06 hours in the morning, and at 14 hours in the afternoon. 6, 14, and 21. The other thing we did yesterday was that each one of us was supposed to pick a prayer partner, the person that you pray with. Mrs. Kapande, who is your prayer partner? Your husband, I guess? No. Someone else. Who is she? Okay, she's not here. So, okay, she's there. So those that do not have prayer partners, please immediately find prayer partners and get involved in what we are doing. If you will not get involved, then you will miss the revival during this week. So we are going to have uh, those prayers, and then at the end I will close uh, in that order. So those that don't have prayer partners, 
Can I see you pick the prayer partners? Exercise commence. Okay. Sister Mutinta, you've picked Mr. Moya, right? Okay, that's fine. So wherever your prayer partner is at six hours, text your prayer partner. Send him a text or WhatsApp message or call or page. Beep. Partner, it's time to pray. At 14, at 6, and at 21. And then we also agreed here that we'll be reading basically one chapter per day. So may I see those who manage to read Psalm number 139. That is the psalm for yesterday. Can you raise your hand if you manage to read Psalm 139? Thank you. God bless you. So tonight or today, we are reading Isaiah chapter 43. That is the chapter for today. Those who have not read Psalm 139, please read and you also read Isaiah chapter 43 for today. So, at this time, we'll ask the chorister briefly just to lead us in one stanza of sweet hour of prayer. Then you kneel with your partner. Share your prayer requests. Then pray together with your partner. Then I will close in prayer after two or three minutes. In that order, please, exercise commence. Chorister, please, you can lead us. We stand.
Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this evening for reminding us that we were created for the purpose. You have reminded us that human life is not measured by how long we have lived, but how much we have been a blessing to others. Tonight, we pray that awaken the sense of responsibility in each one of us. There are times when we feel that it's about us. When we live for ourselves, many of us have lost the purpose why we exist. Remind us tonight that it's all about God. Our dressing should be about God. Our language should be about you. Our thoughts about you. Our workplace about you. Our families about you. Our income about you. Many of us have lost it all. We desire that you remind us so that we may come back in the right path. Remind us, Lord, that we exist for one another. You demonstrated it, Lord, when the lawyer in Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37, asked a question. Now, who is my neighbor? And the answer was in the parable of a good Samaritan, which is summarized that a neighbor is any person who needs our help. And this is a true purpose of Christian existence, is to live for others. Impart in us that sense of love, the sense of care. Revive the church at university here. Because no revival is genuine that does not work reformation. Bless us, Lord, and awaken the sense of commitment in us that we will live to give glory to God and to bless your name and to be a blessing to the world and to reflect your character. Be present now as we go to sleep that your divine glory that has been present for us and with us will follow us throughout till we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will now have one song from the BOT and two songs from Anointed. Then we, the chorista will disperse us with her choice. So one yes, the rewa umpa we blend panda malo sazikondi Yeah. 
Church. Okay, uh, just a quick one. Um, thank you very much for staying with us uh, this evening. We, I, we invite you to come tomorrow to yet more edifying uh, presentations. And also there will be music as you will pray. We pray together. See you tomorrow. 340 as we march out, Jesus saves. the cloud.